Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to name an angle. And we're going to go through two examples together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here. And the first thing we need to do when naming an angle is find the vertex. And the vertex is where two lines or line segments meet in order to create the angle. Now the vertex is named by a letter. For number one, we have a G here corresponding to our vertex. So after we find the vertex, we need to find a point on each line segment or line that create the angle. So here we have a D. This line segment right here creates the angle and this line segment here. So we have a D up there and we have a Z down here. So once we have the points on our line segments and the vertex identified, we are able to name our angle. So I'm going to start here with a symbol that means angle. And now we start with one of our points. We're going to start with D. So we start with D here. We go down to our vertex G and then down to our other point on our line segment Z. So one of our names could be angle DGZ. Now we can also start at Z here, go up to G. So start at Z, go up to G, and then finish by going up to D. Now notice the order of our letters represents the order of how we're drawing that angle. And the vertex is always in the middle, always in the middle. So we could either do angle DGZ or angle ZGD. Now I'm going to give you a couple of examples that do not work. We cannot do angle GZD because if we start at G and go down to Z, and then up to D, that does not give us the angle that we're looking for. And we cannot do D, start at D, no, I'm sorry, start at G, go up to D, and then down to Z. So we, again, we cannot start at G, go to D, and then Z. The vertex needs to be in the middle. So let's go to number two here. Now this looks a little different. We have two lines that intersect in order to create angles. So let's take a look at A down here. We need to find angle PFG. So this tells us start at P, go to our vertex F, and end at point G here. So angle PFG would be right here, PFG. So our angle right here would be PFG. Now let's go to B. See if you can find angle GFA. So we start at G, we go into our vertex F, and then up to A. So angle GFA would be right here. And then lastly, C, what is another name for angle PFY? So PFY would be right here, PFY. Another name, as long as we have the vertex in the middle, we could do Y, F, P, angle Y, F, P. Start up top here, F, P. So there you have it, there's how to name an angle. We find two points on the lines or line segments and we also find that vertex and we always put the vertex, the letter for the vertex in the middle of our name. Hopefully that helped, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.